Welcome guys to another video and welcome back to the cruise ship tutorial. Today we are going to be doing part 10 which are the passenger cabins. So this is the first real episode where we're actually doing a passenger deck and not just the elevator lobbies. So I'm very excited for that um, and we can get right into it right now. So last episode we left off at the crew deck. I'm going to squeeze my way in through here. So last episode we left off at the crew deck which I will if you guys missed it you you guys can go watch it I will have the link to the full series tutorial in the description but we did this so this is the gangway and then over here it enters the crew only which pretty much if you miss the episode the crew only deck consists of just cabins a couple lounges um, a cafeteria fitness center and some locker rooms along with many bathrooms so yeah but now we are going to be doing the first passenger deck, which on this ship, it's different on every ship, but on this ship, the first two decks are cabins. So we can go ahead and do that now. So pretty much what, what these decks consist of are two long hallways going from here and here, all the way down and all the way forward, surrounded by cabins here, um, which are exterior cabins and they face the outside of the ship. Um, so on these decks, they have windows. Now the upper decks they have balconies which are up there, but on this deck there are windows and then interior bath and um, interior rooms here. Which do not have windows, but they are pretty much the same size. So to start off, we're gonna do the hallway, but the cabins don't just start here. Let me actually turn the sound off, it's really annoying. So the cabins don't just start here. They go all the way down. So we can come here. And I already laid out the carpet by the way. This is gonna be carpet we're gonna be using for the probably entire floor so I'm gonna find the first block here and this is where my first room will be so up here I can come up here and show you guys an example of a balcony room so as you can see you can note the length or the width of the room it is three blocks so down here we're gonna do a little bit different because these so typically um, if you look at the price range these cabins are gonna be a lot cheaper than these ones and the reason why is because well these cabins have a balcony and so having a balcony on a room automatically is going to make it more expensive and it's automatically going to make it nicer because what would you rather have would you rather have a window on the first floor or a balcony on the eighth probably a balcony because i mean what's better than that you got your own balcony to yourself private um looking out in the ocean you can spend as long as you want here bring whatever you want into the room that you got on the ship and I mean, what's better than that compared to just a window? They're not the same, right? So to make up for that down here, I'm going to be making these rooms a little bit larger, just two blocks larger, which isn't a big difference, but in the grand scheme of things, two blocks in this game, especially in such a, you know, in with cruise ships and how tight of a window you have for, you know, perfect um, scales, two blocks is a lot. So yeah so this is a very large room so it's a seven by five and then now we can bring this block over here all the way down all the way down here and then you want to line this one up with the middle of the ship which is there so this one is a lot smaller which brings me to this point can always move the hallway one block down because we have room for that on this ship and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing so this is not a super big move but what you're gonna see is that it's gonna make the cabins even they should now both be no this one's five by five and this one's six by five okay so there's a one block difference which is fine so that's what we're going to be working on now we can keep on outlining these rooms and you'll see what I will do next so now it's time to design the actual hallway and room itself so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna get my accent block which is the spruce wood and I'm going to create an indent here and this is what I'm going to do so this is going to create a little indent. And then we can finish up the rest of the wall here. 
And then don't worry about these rooms. Um, I'm going to either flip these ones or just build these separately, but so that creates a little indent here. And then to follow the design that this elevator lobby gave us, I'm going to take this. I'm going to come over here. And I will be filling this in with leaves. And I could put our light right there. So that gives up some some artificial light to light up our hallways, which is very important on a ship. And now we can come here and we can fill in this first wall. So we don't have to actually focus on that room right now. You'll see why in a second once I actually flip this cabin because as you can see here and here, it's flipped over. So I'm gonna keep that in mind as we finish the rest of this room. So you can put your window down there in the middle right there and that will be going all the way down. And we're actually gonna get our glass pane here. So in a room, um, first thing you probably see is a bathroom, which is the first thing we're going to build. So I'm gonna be gracious. Um, I'm gonna give them a two by two bathroom. Usually what I do is I just have one block here and I just put a toilet in there, but this time they're gonna get a full bathroom. And so, yep. Yeah. And then usually bathrooms on cruise ships are like a dark blue, so I'm gonna get some blue terracotta, put that in. And then here for our doors, we're gonna add, add a little bit of detail and get some dark oak wood. And then we're also gonna be using dark oak, dark oak stair or dark oak doors for all of our doors on this. And we can come in, put our doors in. And then now, as you can see. We have the rest of the room that we have to fill in. So you do by that do that by building some cabinets, which I will build like this. And then a shelf or a counter. I can do like this. Actually, I'm gonna make those just two. I'm gonna bring this here. I'm gonna build that. And this is gonna be our mirror. You see how I do this. Like I said before, when we're flipping it over, I did this with the locker rooms on the crew deck. When you flip it over, it's going to be the same on the other side, so it will act exactly as a mirror. So, yeah. And then here, I'm just going to get some spruce buttons so you can actually see them. So those act as like handles for the cabinet. And then... Here for our wall, we are going to do what is another accent little block we can do. I'm going to try chiseled quartz block. So we can fill this in. And then, of course, we're not done. I'm going to add a stair here, stair there, get some carpet. Acts as a sh Oh, no, wrong color. Come on. Red. And I'm going to get a banner. So these act as curtains. Put that there. Now we're gonna get our bedded. So usually, nope, sorry about that. That was my phone falling. Usually on ships, the beds are just white, normal white. And I'm going to pick up some dark oak stairs. It's gonna act as a shelf. I'm gonna get an end rod, put that down there. And now here, I'm gonna get some smooth quartz, put that there. And then I'm going to get some trap doors that acts as our ceiling and then here i'm going to get a tv so again i might have to just explain this in every episode but you guys will probably not have this menu um it is a mod i downloaded um it just helps out a lot so you can pretty much look up ahead because heads are like the most important thing when it comes to detailing ships so and i just got rid of it nope there it is tv so there we go, that is a very basic room, but now we actually have to build the bathroom, which is kind of important. So we can get our stair that acts as a toilet, and we can get our white stained glass, which acts as a shower. I'm gonna get some red banners, acts as like a shower curtain. Um, and I'm gonna get a cauldron, which will be our sink. Which we can't even put a trip wire down because that's there. Alright, well that's fine. I'm just going to fill it up with water then. There we go. And... 
Okay, another thing I just thought of. I'm actually curious. Wouldn't this be the bathroom on both sides? I think it would be. Alright, I'm going to see how that works. Now we need to get our... So this is the only block we could actually put down a... Um... This one I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna get more end rods. Place them there, and put a slab there. Actually, we can just do that. There we go. That is our bathroom. And then, actually, let's do that. There we go. That's our bathroom. So, and then here, I'm just gonna get some nice little concrete powder. Red or orange? Alright. So that acts as like a painting on the wall above the beds. And so, yeah. Now, I'm going to get a dark oak fence. Just to add more detail. And then grab a spruce button from here. And that acts like a... Not only a door, but also sometimes they have like things where they put like mail here. But it's not like mail. It's like the agenda for the day or whatever now we can flip this and see what we are working with so as you can see this is what the cabins look like right now so here's our flipped result and as you can see that's what I was talking about with the mirror notice how it is the same there and we can't tell what the bathrooms one yet but or bathroom ones yet but we'll get there so now I'm going to flip this and we will see what the end result looks like. So this is a hallway for our ship. Except we're not done yet. We just need to add some detail to the hallway ceilings. Which isn't much, and it's not gonna be much. But it is something to note that there must be as much detail as possible. So I'm going to fill this in, and now we have a much more detail hallway. Alright, now I'm going to get more end rods, then actually, um, actually, hmm, I don't know, I don't think this would fit, honestly, these end rods at the top, I like the little low-key thing we got going. Actually, maybe, what if I do this? There we go. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't think that's fitting for this type of ship. That's how you, I really don't usually do that design. Typically, just have them as walls. One last thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hate myself for doing this. But I put I like to put signs down here. Um, on the wall. They kinda act as like railings sort of. But I just think they look really good when compare when um, used with the rest of the ship. And then also, one thing to know here. Um, yeah, we can just get rid of the window because obviously there's no window there. And if they did have a window there, well, it would be looking at somebody else's room, which is not a good thing. So, I'm going to get rid of them. And then now comes a very complicated process of stacking this ship down. But first... Okay, you know what? A little secret here. A lot of people don't know about this thing. There's a light block in the game. And, well, it just makes things better. Actually, I'm not even sure if we need that. I'm going to hold back now. I'm going to see what it looks like without it, but... If it looks dark, then, well... Then what are we doing? And actually, I don't even know if there's room here to stack it even one down, which is crazy. And, yeah, no, there's not. Okay, well, that's disappointing. Um, so, when that happens, you just come here, select it, and copy. Flip. And paste it. 
and then you can just have a nice little nice little one by one here but I'm also not going to break the sort of cannon that we have there Alright, so instead, we're just going to stack this one all the way down, because might as well, and then we'll work with the interior cabins later. But this, we can stack like 10 down, and as you can see, it goes all the way down. All the way down. Ah, alright. 15, is that enough? Maybe one more. Yes, okay, that is good. Alright, now we can move all the way back. Come here and fill this in and then now what we do with the entrance of this um, just gonna bring this over make it not very complicated and then now you have a very smooth little exit as you can see and so yeah and then now we got the stack and actually I'm gonna see what this hallway looks like without shaders and it looks it looks right enough okay well just make sure everything's okay all right actually let's see what the bathroom's like oh yeah huh about that never thought about that before all right now i can just put shaders back on though just to look you know fancy and whatnot so it's bright enough so we don't actually need the light block all right now we can continue with this ca these cabins here. So I'm gonna s um, I'm gonna copy the entire thing that includes both walls because you're not stacking, you're copying. I'm gonna copy it from the wall here, and then I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna find the first wall. I'm gonna line it up with this one. You always want to line up your cabins. You always want to line up your cabins, always. So I'm gonna line it up here. It's the first wall, and it's perfect. Yeah, okay, never mind. It's perfect. I was thinking of something, but I changed my mind. Alright, and just paste and then also be don't forget to bring your signs down. They don't have to go into the elevator lobbies, but it's just gonna bring them down. See so yeah, I could just stay like Yeah, I could just do this. Alright. Go, make sure to fill this in. Come down here, and then now we can stack this long ways down because there's absolutely nothing here my goodness wow there's nothing I guess that's the good thing about having only two elevator lobbies that does not add up is there room for one cabin here no I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to build a laundromat because on a ship you're gonna need laundry it's a very important thing that there are laundromats on all decks of your ship and so you know everybody can well do their laundry and again I'm gonna line it up here come down here and just stack it one and then you might be wondering what is this space for back here well it's for the mooring station like I said in the previous episode this is where I decided I was gonna put the mooring station which if you don't know what that is it is where the ship connects to the dock with you know, ropes. So it doesn't float away. So they can actually pour it. And then here on this deck, it's going to be the same thing, except I'm going to cut it off here because this will be the kitchen. And then this will be the dining room. Unless I do something else. Which I might. Who knows? I'm very indecisive when it comes to this thing. And okay. I what is going on here? Okay. No, I'm just. All right. My fault. Let's <laughs> get that done. Put that there. Is there actually room here for? Oh, there is room for a cabin here. Wow. Okay. Is there? Yes. All right. So we're just gonna copy and flip this then, because you know you want to squeeze every last cabin out of a ship. Put that 
there and then again follow these signs all the way down don't put that there that's not a good acronym all right come here and stack this down so it line, all lines up all lines up all lines up and then here I'm lazy so I'm just gonna copy and flip this over there we go all right so last thing we need to do is to build the laundromat which is very simple very simple build simply just laundry machines and well that's about it so I'm gonna set my floor as stripped oak wood Build a door. I'm gonna line it up with this door just so it looks somewhat decent. Get my dark oak stair. And that. And then. Just put a sign right here. Laundro mat. Alright. Now get your ceiling. In and then now we can actually do it. So pretty much it's just a shelf and a bunch of laundry machines. So get our smooth stone slab. Get some quartz and some smooth quartz blocks. These will be our laundry machines. I'm gonna put a plant right here because I think it's gonna look awesome because I want to put as much greenery on ships as possible and what's better than looking at a plant while you're doing your laundry and then I'm gonna get a sign and this I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna try to remember how to do this like this backslash same amount of spaces one more there we go. It's a circle. See? <laughs> Alright, and then shelves here. So th th these are pretty much done. You don't really need to do anything to these, if I'm being honest. Maybe add some like stairs up here that act as cabinets or whatever. But there's really not much you can do here. And then it's going to be dark in here, so I'm going to... Oops. Okay. You know what, this is a good moment. I messed up here. So, this does not line up with the middle of the ship, obviously. But there's a simple fix to this because there is a... Oh, man. Okay, actually, never mind. It's not a very simple fix. Did I just really goof up that much? Um... All right, you know what? we can just rebuild the cabins. Not a big deal. So you want to take one block off less of the cabins. I see. I feel like I, I told myself to do that, and then I just forgot and started stacking anyways. But it's not a very big deal. Trust me. So instead of having the TV there, I'm gonna get a lever, and I'm going to put it right there. See. No, it's like it's on a stand. How cute. Alright. Now we can just get rid of all of this. Because we don't need it anymore. Get this. Come over here. And copy. And paste it. Alright. Now as you can see, that is what a normal cabin should look like. And now I can copy this cabin. And I can replace all of these with what it should be. Right. And then I can come here and I can place all of them. So as you can see, they smoothly take over all the places. And I can fly down here and get rid of these walls. So, yep. Yeah. Come here. And do the same thing. And 
and this only needs one, so this is easy. So as you see, we all make mistakes, all right? And that is a great example of just rushing your building and not making sure everything is correct before actually stacking things, which can lead to, you know, mess ups like that. And, you know, that's gonna happen when you build, but most important thing is that you catch those slips ups, slip up. What the hell happened here? Okay, my fault. See, again, rushing your work. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm just thinking what I did wrong there. I think I stacked the entire cabin. I was not paying attention because I was talking. So that's again, don't do that. Make sure you know what you're doing. And make sure you're doing it right with no mess ups because you want like the worst thing ever to happen where I don't know, you like build an entire deck and then like an entertainment deck and then flip it on accident and don't realize and then you, you know, leave the world, come back and you can't change it. So definitely hasn't happened before, but <laughs> you just want to make sure you're doing things right. Um, so yeah, now we have all the cabins and the laundromat and now we can replace this carpet because as you can see, it looks a little weird because it's just a stacked pattern all the way down, which isn't the worst thing, but there's better things. So again, just put in my carpet design that I've been doing. And there we go. Now we can stack this thing up. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stack it up. But again, I'm going to leave two cabin room here to put that. And then make sure it all lines up. All the cabins are looking good. Blank this out because there's no possibility for a window there or here. And then now we can just stack one new. And I'm in a cabin. And then now, as you see, we have our cabins. Make sure your elevator lobbies still work which is very important, which they do. Cabins look good. They look good to flip all the way around, which we will do. After one thing, I'm going to make one more cabin, or four more cabins right here because there is actually room for that. So I can second one down and see if it affects the outside at all, which it did not, which is perfect. And then now we can blank these off. And I'll do something else over here in another episode. I'm probably, I think I'm gonna do a mega, mega crew episode where I do all the crew deck over here. But now we can just flip this entire thing all the way down, all the way down to here we will be done with the cabins. Come here, copy, flip, and paste, and as you can see, that is what cabins look like. So now you're done with that, which is great. And we can check it out from the outside, make sure all the windows work, which they do, and now, the ship is getting a lot more personality to it. Ignore that. Uh, that that's a world that well that it met mishap that I was doing earlier. So you have our cabins. And we're gonna walk through them to make sure you know they're all okay. That there's no major mistakes. So you see, very basic cabins, very clean, very simple, very you know nice nice colors um, all around, and it just looks like a nice. You got your laundromat. Actually, I forgot to add a light in here. I was going to do that before I realized um, the entire thing was messed up. So, we're going to put our lights here and here. And so, these are like fluorescent lights that you see hanging. I think I explained that in the first episode. Now, we got to do that up here as well. Actually, I gotta put some blocks up here so I can actually place the place a lever. 
How about that? Alright. Lever. 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 And lever. Alright, there we go. So we're done. We are done officially. Which is great. Alright. So. Now. What's next? You might be wondering what's coming next for this. Um, I gotta think about it because I gotta think what I wanna do first because there's a lot of different things I could tackle. Um, honestly, if you made it to this far in the video, which I don't even know how many people have, maybe like two, but if you have, leave your suggestions in the comments of what you want me to see, what you want to see me build next. Because there's a couple options, like we could do the theater, we could do the atrium, or we could even just do crew areas because those, you guys want to see that, right? <laughs> Joking. Uh, I'm not doing the dining room next episode. That's what I will say. I am leaving that for last. Because I do not want to build that anytime soon. I'm just not ready to do that. Because <laughs> that takes a long time. But yeah, next episode is going to be a big one. Because it's the first um, entertainment area. And there's a lot that has to do here. Because I don't I don't even know what I'm going to do here. I mean, i got to lay it out. And then actually build it all on camera. Which is going to take forever. But... I think it'll be worth it in the end um but yeah that's pretty much it for this video or that's it in general for this video if you guys did enjoy it leave a like comment and subscribe i guess i do a lot of cruise ships up on this channel i got like a bunch of ships that i built myself and uploaded on this website